If you're a blue collar fella or lady out there who's trying to increase their net worth, trying to get a side hustle, trying to obtain some level of financial freedom, and you're looking to do that through real estate investing, you're going to want to stay tuned to today's show. Wayne, this one's for you. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. Folks, if you haven't noticed, um, I got a little fly right there. If you haven't noticed, I am working from the home office, okay? Not in the studio. We just had another child. We had another baby. So I'm working from home for a little while. Get some more family time in. And the reason I can do that, right? The reason I can do that is through the financial freedom I've built through my real estate business, right? And that's what I'm here to help you guys do, right? My man, Wayne, you are a laborer from uh, Rhode Island, right? So, you know, in your particular job, you have to be someplace when someone else tells you to be there, et cetera, right? The goal through real estate investing, the goal of creating this financial freedom, guys, it's not that you don't work, you make so much money, you don't have to work. No, it's that you're able to, to work on your own terms, right? If you want to spend more time working from home, you can do that. If you want to move, it doesn't need to, you know, your job doesn't need to, to be a specific distance, right, from where you want to live, things of that nature, right? And real estate has helped me get there, and I'm trying to help you get there. And we are going to start off your portfolio with this property, Wayne, 3609 West 47th Street, Cleveland, 44102, just listed a few days ago, right? $69,900 is what the Century 21 agent listed it for. And if we cruise through the photos, okay, just a big old Cleveland duplex, baby. As you see, we got <clears throat> all kinds of stuff uh, in the units because both of these units are occupied by tenants. Currently, each of these units, which are both two bed, one bath units, they're bringing in 600 a month, so 1200 a month total or 14400 a year is coming in out of this property. Cruising through more of the photos, we see uh, the furnaces, right? Nice, clean basement. A lot of times you see like uh, a very dark, dingy, scary looking basements in the Cleveland market. This one's nice and bright and fresh and clean. So I really like that. This furnace, it's, you know, looks to be uh, maybe 10 years or newer, right? So that's nice. You got some hot water tanks. You know, those are probably in the mid-level of their uh, life cycle furnaces. They last about 30 years, cost about $3,000 to replace. Hot water tanks, you'll get about 15 years out of those bad boys, and they cost about a G to replace, right? These are the things you need to know. Um, you know, just more photos of the units, right? <clears throat> Nothing like super spectacular, just like very simple, you know, lower income type tenants, okay? So, uh, of course, when these folks move out, we'll have to go in and do unit turns, but you have to pretty much do that anytime tenants uh, in these types of asset classes move out. But all told, it's uh, you know just a pretty solid cash cow, right? Of that twelve hundred that comes in, I anticipate you spending an average of six twenty two, leaving you with an average of five seventy eight a month. Now that's a monthly average, dude. It's not going to be like that every single month. There's variables, right? And there's also things we're accounting for, right? Like, I don't think you're going to have $60 of repairs every single month. But like I said, you're going to have to turn the units when those existing tenants do move out. So what we're doing is we're saving $720 a year, okay? That's not money that, like, you're actively spending. That's money that's probably coming to you that I want you to save. I'm not calculating that as far as your return. I'm trying to give you a better realistic understanding of what you're actually going to make. You got to understand where your money's coming from. So I'm saying on average, this thing should make you almost $7,000 a year. But in addition to that, there's going to be about $720 that you're probably going to get now because the tenant's already in there. But no, that when these tenants do move out, dude, you're going to have, you know, a few thousand dollar turns in both of these units, right? So you're saving that. So like you have the money now, but I don't want you to think that like that's money in the bank because you're going to have to save it. 
And then that's the same thing with the capital expenditures, right? I just went over the costs of the furnaces and the hot water tanks and how long they last, right? So I want you saving $720 a year, knowing that eventually you'll have to spend the money to replace those things, right? In addition to that too, we got the roof, right? Probably a, a roof in its mid to end of life cycle, okay? And roofs on properties like this, they're probably like seven grand, right? So I have you saving for that. And then lastly, you got another thing you're saving for. You're saving 720 for vacancy, in non-payment of rent, right? Tenants don't always pay. Part of the game is evictions, right? It's, if we collected 100% of our rents, man, this business would be too damn easy. But unfortunately, that's uh, you know not how it works. Now, of course, we alleviate risks like that by putting in Section 8 tenants, things of that nature. And that's what I'd want to do with this property going forward. These are uh, going to be cash-paying tenants right now. But eventually, we would want to, when we do have natural turnovers with these folks, which they are current on their rent uh, from our understanding right now, but we eventually would like to replace these tenants with Section 8 tenants. So the Section 8 program that we do here at Holton Wise, which obviously you see it on the screen right here, we got the Section 8 fact for you. It shows you how we work with the Section 8 program to alleviate uh, the risks that are associated with lower income tenants, right? Because this particular neighborhood, right, it's, it's a D-class neighborhood, right? But I, I think it's a really solid uh, D-class neighborhood because it's near Metro Health, which is a hospital that's going to be investing a billion dollars into the existing area. So I'm very high on this uh, area. And while we're talking about Section 8, Wayne, uh, you gave me a question. It was a very good question, right? Uh, your question specifically was, does a 3-1 Section 8 house rent for the same as a 3-1 Section 8 apartment? Uh, in the fact, as you see, we got like a, a chart here which shows you uh, like what you can you know, see for like fair market values, it doesn't always hit these numbers. These are kind of like the most you'll ever get. Uh, and then like how it specifically works though, is section eight actually gives you a rental offer for every single property. So typically, no, you're not going to see uh, the same level of rent for an apartment that you would for a home, even though they have the same level of bedrooms, right? Because they factor a lot of things in when they make their uh, rental offers to us landlords, right? They factor in the square footage. They factor in if there's appliances, what utilities are paid, uh, just all types of things, even the neighborhoods, right? And sometimes, to be honest with you, it can be rather confusing. Uh, we've actually gotten wildly different uh, rental offers for like identical properties before, like in the same like area. Like I think we've even had it happen on the same street. Uh, so that's kind of the thing when you're dealing with the government, right? It's sometimes it's a, a little bit of additional bureaucracy that doesn't always make sense. Like I always try to tell people, if you ask five Section Eight employees the same question, you're probably gonna get five answers, right? So there is a little bit of BS uh, dealing with this program. But again, that's why we have the fact and that's why we handle all that for you. But in the, the long run, right, if you're gonna invest in these CD neighborhoods, you gotta do it, right? Cause it's like the cheat code uh, for these particular neighborhoods, right? It keeps that rent coming in consistently cause that's the biggest risk factor when you're buying properties like this is the tenants not paying rent. So we're able to alleviate that risk as much as possible if we get that government guaranteed rent, right? So with all that said, I think this property is priced beautifully, dude. $69.9, that's the right price. We'll go in and we'll try to work the seller a little bit, but I don't think we try to lowball them or anything because I think there's going to be a lot of other investors trying to buy this. So I'd like to see us pick this up for you at $68,000. We do that. You only got to put $17,000 into it. We'll get you a loan for the other $51,000. Anybody else out there, if you send an email to sales at holtonwise.com, we have a list of lenders that can write loans to investors like you. All you got to do, live in the uh, 50 United States, and we'll get you 30-year fixed interest, low interest loans, guys. This is the best type of financing you can have. And my out-of-country folks, my foreign nationals, we actually have lenders for you guys too. The terms aren't going to be as attractive as those U.S. citizens, but they're, they're fairly decent, right? Because, Wayne, you came to me. Okay, you came to me with $60,000 and you said, hey, I'm interested in doing some bird deals uh, or just anything that allows me to stretch my money and build myself a portfolio so I can get some financial freedom, right? So with this one, I didn't want to start you off with the bird. I wanted to start you off with something that's already simple, already producing, and it's going to take less than a third of your money, right? So we can knock this deal out with 17 Gs and you still got $43,000 to work with, right? So this is just a solid earner, right? Like after we factor everything in with all my fixed and variable uh, expense expectations, dude, I 
think this is going to be a 25.6% return on your money. We're only using 17 G's and we're able to use the other 43 to, to stack some additional deals just like this uh, later. And then in addition to all that, when you do turn these units over and we do go section eight, we'll be able to increase the rent. There's actually some serious meat on the bone here because uh, the market rent, what we typically get out of units like this with the section eight program is going to be 750 a month, right? So currently we're bringing in 1200. We could take that up to 1500 over the long haul, but I wouldn't advocate trying to kick out the current tenants right now because they're very close to paying market rent and we don't want to create an artificial turnover, meaning you know we don't want to hurry to spend more money on those unit turns because I said you're going to have to do those anyway, right? So let's stack $720 a year in your pocket from these tenants right now and let's let them pay for the next turnover when they ultimately move out, right? So Wayne, I think this is a good way to start your portfolio and start you on your path to financial freedom, brother. Let me know, uh, reply to this private email if this is a deal that makes sense to you. If not, give me some feedback. Let me know if you're like, eh, you know, I kind of like it, but this is why I don't like it. Maybe we can go this route. Give me as much feedback as you can, brother. And then on the next video, I'll make the necessary adjustments and we'll go from there. This is very much a back and forth process, right? That's why it's good you bought a multi-pack. You know, you guys, you go to holdmice.com, click the property search for sale tab, MLS search and analysis show. You can buy one analysis, but we also sell them in three packs, four packs, and 10 packs. Very smart to buy the multi-packs, guys. Number one, we discount them. Number two, uh, you know, it takes time to get the right deals together for you guys, right? You know, you give us all your information. After you buy a package, we send you an email asking you all kinds of stuff, your goals, your wants, your needs, uh, all this information about you. And then we make you a video based on what you tell us. But sometimes uh, things don't always come off as clear or I give you new information about the Cleveland market and what you thought you wanted originally changes or, you know, just because these properties, you know, they're, they're well uh, they're, they're well producing cash flow investments. There's like millions of people out there in the world, guys. A lot of people are looking at the Cleveland market trying to buy these properties. So, uh, perhaps you get outbid by other investors, right? We're looking at properties that are on the open market. There's nothing to stop other investors from taking these deals for you. Uh, you know, there's, there's so many eyeballs on Cleveland, right? It's one of the most popular out of state markets. There are one of the most popular turnkey markets in the United States, right? So it's very much, going to be a long-term back and forth process to actually build you guys a real cash flow producing real estate portfolio. Anybody telling you, you can start with nothing and then, you know, have a huge real estate portfolio like in a week. That's not plausible guys. It takes time. This is a get rich slow game. And I wouldn't shoot smoke up your butt Wayne, telling you like, yo, you're working your blue collar job today. You work with me for six months. You're not going to have a boss. That's it's not how it's going to go, dude. This is something you're going to have to build uh, for years, right? So that's why we like the bigger packages, right? It allows us to create that long-term relationship, right? We get the commitment out of you that allows us to put in a bunch of time, resources, human capital into being your long-term partner. Then, of course, we'll manage all these assets for you. More information on our property management, maintenance, construction, insurance, title work, anything you need after the deal closes, guys. We have facts on that on holtonwise.com. So, Wayne, like I said, brother, let me know what you want to do. Reply to the private link. And uh, if you want to make a move, we'll try to lock this one up for you. If not, give me feedback on what else you want to do. That's all I've got on today's show, folks. As always, I'm James Wise of Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.